Hi there. Vinteco recently released version 4.8 of Fairbot, which has some nice enhancements to it. The one in particular I want to look at is the improved dutching action. Uh, it's not obvious how to use it uh, initially, so it's worthwhile having a, a look at that in this video. Indeed, I'm going to split this video into two. I'm going to look at, first of all, doing it automatically, where you use conditions to make your selections, and then in part two, I'll look at how to do it manually, where you can, in advance, go in and select your uh, desired options by name. Uh, more of that later. Specifically, we need to look at the From Apply to All rule option, because that's how the new functionality makes its selections for the Dutch. Now, you're, I've shown you the Apply All to uh, the Apply to All rule functionality before, but it's worthwhile recapping how to go about doing that. So let me just bring up the strategy editor. I've got a blank strategy here already set up. If we add in a rule, and we'll just call this make selections for Dutch. Now this race is two hours away yet, so I'll just configure it to fire now. And we also need this to be an apply to all option. I'm going to set this as dummy. It doesn't actually need to do anything. We will go in and do conditions, but more of that in a minute. Let's just recap what the apply to all option does. Now, because I've set this to dummy, uh, you'll get this warning coming up, because generally speaking, you wouldn't use dummy with an apply to all. Don't worry about that. Just click on yes to confirm and choose save. So the apply to all option allows you to create one single rule definition within the strategy editor. But when you assign that to a market, it automatically generates or copies that rule across every single runner in the field. Now, because I don't have any conditions specified, you'll see that every single one of those um, runners, the rule for that runner has been executed. Now, the new dutching automation facility uses that to enable it to identify the runners that, go, that are going to take part in the dutch. So it's looking for these individual rules created from an apply to all rule Specifically, it's looking for any of these rules that have been executed, and it will base that uh, for the Dutch. Okay, so what we need to do is configure this to filter these runners for the ones we can, uh, the ones that we want to Dutch. So let me just uh, reset that, go back to the strategy editor, go back in here and set some conditions. So let's imagine we want to Dutch all the runners that are sitting between odds of 10 and 20. We can use selection fixed odds. Make sure you choose all because we want this condition to be applied to each individual runner. Best back odds greater than 10 and then we can apply another one. Same thing effectively but it's going to be less than 20. Again, make sure you set that to all or you'll get funny results happening. Okay, now, of course, you can filter this still further. You can apply any relevant condition as part of the condition list that will allow you to narrow down on your particular runners. For this particular example, all we're going to do is Dutch those runners that are sitting between 10 and 20 in odds. Right, we've done that, so just click on OK to save that. Once again, because I've made changes to this apply to all rule, we'll get this message coming up. Just click on yes to confirm, choose save, and again, we'll assign it to this race coming up in a couple of hours. And now you'll see because of those conditions, the first few haven't been executed because our odds are lower than 10. And We've got another batch that have all been executed because the odds are sitting comfortably between 10 and 20. And then we've got another few that haven't been executed because they're above 20. So what the dutching command will do within the automation, it's now going to look into this list here and say, right, okay, it's only those ones that have been executed. So those are the ones I'm going to dutch. Right, so let me just reset that again. 
go back to the strategy editor and we need to set up our rule to do the dutching. Dutch qualifying selections. Again, I'll just leave this to, to run now, but obviously within all of these rules, you would set it up so that it fires nearer the off time, rather than two hours in advance. The action that we're going to do is to use Dutching. Now here's the first thing that you'll notice. With the Dutching, this section here was the only section that we used to have, which limited what you can do as far as your selection process was concerned. Essentially it was based on the position of your runners within the grid based on a particular sort order specified here. This new option, however, makes use of the apply to all rule that we've created. So click, click on that little uh, circle there to choose that option. And we need to specify the rule that this dutching option is going to use to make its selections. And then you get a little description of what's going to happen. So when you assign this strategy to the market, the dutching will base its selection or base its dutch on the runners whose rules have executed. Let's just ask for some more ticks rather than taking what's available and clicking on OK. So we can save that and if I now specify um, this as the strategy, click on that. Of course we now find that we've got these runners that qualify We've got these runners that now qualify and we've got some other runners which don't. So those rules haven't fired. So what we should find is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six runners involved in the Dutch. And there you have it. And of course we've got some that are above 20 simply because we asked for higher odds. Okay, so as if by chance we're looking for 23, uh, as if by chance it's actually sitting at 9.5, 19.5 I should say. So that's how you do it. You can use criteria specify and identify the runners that you want to include within your Dutch. There's one other caveat I should put on to that. If I again cancel all those and reset that, if we um, go to uh, the strategy editor again, you can specify a condition in here. So for example, say you wanted to Dutch X number of runners, but you only wanted to Dutch if their percentage share of the book was a certain value. In other words, the return for the Dutch was going to give you a decent profit. In other words, give you some value or perceived value. What you can do with that is to click on the conditions, click on add condition and then choose market and book percentage. And you'll see this new option further down here. Same as the Dutching option. Click on that. That will now tell it to look at all the selections that you've identified from the apply to all rule, which you select here as before. What we need to do is specify what the book percentage is. So as long as the book percentage is, let's say, less than 80, which will give us a minimum of 20% profit from our Dutch, the Dutch will go ahead. But if that combination of runners means that their, book, their share of the percentage of the book is greater than 80, the Dutch won't be submitted. So that's another criteria that you can specify. So let me just click on that. And again, we can assign that to the market. Now in this case, it's probably going in anyway because the, the odds are quite high. So that should be comfortably. If I was to do that manually, uh, we're looking at jump the guns, Spiracus, a bait as if by chance, smash and Rathbone. There you can see the book bar is actually only 42%, so comfortably within our limit. Okay, so that's how you would go about using the new automated dutching feature within Fairbot if you wanted to use criteria 
to identify what it is you want to touch. In the next video, I'll show you how to set it up so that you can actually pick your runners by name in advance um, and then have this mechanism base its selections on the runners that you select manually. Okay, that's it guys. I'll speak to you later in part two.